Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel, and on the 14th of May 2015, that is a Thursday, Merrick Rosa, the CEO of Keen Software House, went ahead and posted a new dev blog. And at the same time, they also made the source code of Space Engineers fully access, full source code access. So people can now go ahead and gain access to that stuff and tweak the game in any way they see fit. No longer are they limited in what they can do. So what I'm going to do here is just basically read through his blog post to give you guys an idea of what's up and uh, maybe at the end say a few things and maybe here and there say something. But mainly I'm just going to go through this. That way, if you don't want to read through it yourself, well, you can just listen to me babble on for a fair amount of time. All right, let's get started, shall we? Space Engineers, full source code access, total modifications, and a hundred thousand US dollar fund. Today we have a very important announcement for our modders and our community. We have decided to give you 100% complete access to Space Engineers source code. This comes as a continuation of our decision to give more freedom to modders and the community. Please do not confuse this with open source or free software. While we are opening the possibilities to read and alter Space Engineers and V-Rage source code, we're not making Space Engineers or V-Rage free. I've spoken about ideas like this in my previous blog post, I think here, but back then we were assuming we would only open source some parts of the game. Later, we came to the conclusion that opening the entire code base will be much better for everyone. Modders can now develop the game the same way Keen Software House developers do. This, however, does not mean we will stop working on the game. During the last few months, we have been removing parts of the obfuscation of Space Engineer's executable and libraries. After that, we uploaded the source code of Space Engineers and V-Rage Engine to on GitHub as a private repository. Let select modders look into it and provide us with feedback. And today, we're making the repository public. There are very few game studios that have ever done this, probably none during this early access period. It's an experiment that someone has to try, and the chances that it will be beneficial to the future of Space Engineers is high and worth taking the risk. Pros. Total conversions are now possible. More and better content created by modders. Allowing people to have more fun with our game by letting them modify it while we keep adding core features and updates just like we did for the last two years. Modders can make server-side mods easily. Modders can contribute to Space Engineers core development if they want. Modders can extend the official modding API interface and we will merge their changes with the core game. Cons. Competitors can steal our ideas and algorithms. Our answer? If it is so easy to clone our games and development methods, then we probably aren't doing anything special. We believe that our competitive advantage is in being leaders, not followers. Hackers will have an easier time cheating in multiplayer. Our answer? This is true. But with new multiplayer, the servers will have the authority and will validate everything sent by clients. If our implementation has flaws, open access to our source code and the visibility of potential flaws will push us to fix these cases faster. We can be accused of going open source and abandoning the development of space engineers. Our answer is definitely no. As we stated above, this is mostly for giving complete freedom to our modders while we continue the game's development without any changes through weekly updates and keeping our development plan as described in our previous blog post. Space Engineers is still selling very well, and only a crazy person would abandon the game. We just want to give people the chance to modify all aspects of our game and experiment with it while we keep doing what we are doing. In the worst case scenario, we will revert back to obfuscating the source code. And with our frequent update routine, the non-obfuscated source code will soon become old and obsolete. Now, there's a note here that's talking about a AMA they're doing on Reddit. 
Uh, it's over, obviously, by the time you're listening to this. So there'll be a link down in the description below if I can find that Reddit post. So you can go ahead and look through all the questions there. How it works. Go to GitHub, download and unpack the source codes, open it in Virtual Studio Community Edition, free, modify the source code, launch the game, see this video guide. <laughs> it's a bit, um, launch the game and then see this video guide. It, uh, that's a bit odd, but yeah, they have a video guide here. Link in the description below also to this video guide. And of course the GitHub link I'll toss down there, which is the uh, next thing here they're showing. This new type of mods can't be uploaded to the Steam Workshop, unlike mod API mods, because of the security risks. We are assuming that modders will find ways to share their mods with players. Server-side mods will be installed on servers by server administrators, so it's not necessary to distribute them to clients. Modders will be able to contribute to mod API in a vanilla game. It often happens that modders want to create a mod, but they are unable to do it because the mod API has a limited interface. In this case, in this case, they will simply add support for it. Usually it means creating a small public interface for an existing feature. We will review their changes, and when it meets quality and security requirements, we'll merge it with the core game. General discussion, suggestions, and questions can be posted on the dedicated source code subform link here. And again, that'll be down in the description below. What kind of mods can be made? Workshop mods? Nothing changes for workshop mods, except for modders who want to get involved in mod API and improvement now have a chance. Total conversion mods? These mods can ignore the limits of mod API and modify anything in the game. Because we're unable to guarantee security, these mods can't be uploaded to the Steam Workshop and must be distributed in a different way. Games like Counter-Strike, Dota, and DayZ were created in a similar fashion. When an author of a total conversion mod wants to release his mod on Steam, as a standalone game or Space Engineers DLC slash mod, we'd be happy to help him with that. Contact us, and there's an email address here. Standalone games, if you decide that modding is not for you, and you want to build a brand new game based on Space Engineers and or V-Rage source code and assets, don't hesitate to contact us. Once again, save me my address. What are modders saying? Diggy, this will open the possibilities for a lot of extra improvements to the game and its modding API from the fans that want to get involved. Diggy is the author of several popular mods, including Helmet 3D HUD and Gravity Collector. He also contributed mod API improvements, his workshop, and there's a link there. Tiersis, I personally would love to modify some things, as I'm limited to responding to events slash sending sync packets in order to make things happen on the client. Having more control of the source level would be interesting. Tiersis is an author of SE Server Extender, and very popular mods including automated inventory sorting, and GPS and waypoints. His workshop, link here. Malware. I'm personally very happy to be granted access to the source code, but I'm a bit worried about what will happen if you release it to everybody. Malware is a very active member on GitHub. He already contributed by adding several features to Mod API. His workshop. A hundred thousand dollar fund. To support our modding community even more, we reserved $100,000 of our own money as a fund for modders who want to build a total conversion mod based on Space Engineers or the V-Rage engine. We're considering several ways that this fund could work. Grants with no strings attached, see how Epic does it, link. Zero interest loans and Kickstarter support. We can provide PR, marketing, and promotions on our social media. Why are we doing this? We believe that our V-Rage engine is unique in certain aspects, and it would be great to see what other people can create with it. V-Rage supports full dynamic and volumetric environments where players can build and destroy everything around. Our game world is unlimited in size and can be procedurally generated. More info about V-Rage at this link. Who are we looking for? Anyone who's interested in our technology and wants to create games 
or total conversions using VRage Engine or Space Engineers. We are looking for people who are enthusiastic about the same things as we are. Game development, sandbox games, destructible environments, and unlimited gameplay experience. Legal notes. Now this might seem a bit dry, but if you're actually wanting to do some modding, you probably want to hear this just to make sure you know where things stand, and general public might want to hear some of this as well, just to know what mods might be coming out and how things might be with said mods. So let's go ahead and read this. And by the way, there is a link to the EULA right there. The source code and RSS must not be mistaken for free software. An open source in a free software, activist underground, copyleft, or public domain software. All source code and our assets remain copyrighted and licensed by Keen Software Health Limited. And you are allowed to use them, modify, tweak, make it derivative work, distribute, etc., only under the following conditions. The source code, modifications, or derivative works can be distributed only if they are intended to be used as a mod for space engineers, and only if valid customers would be able to use them. You are not allowed to bypass this restriction and create standalone applications or use our code in your projects. In other words, everyone who wants to develop and or use mods based on our open source code is required to own a valid Steam version of Space Engineers. You are not allowed to use our source code in an application other than Space Engineers. You are not allowed to remove the Steam integration from the code. You are not allowed to distribute original art assets, textures, models, fonts, etc. Except if you won't be able to make your modifications without the original files. E.g. painting a mustache on the astronaut texture and then distributing it as your own mod for Space Engineers is allowed. You are allowed to share the source files with other developers, downloading and compiling the game locally, modifying and tweaking the game locally, and even publicly forking, modifying, and tweaking the game source on GitHub, crediting us when logical slash reasonable. The origin of this software must not be misrepresented. You must not claim that you wrote the original software. Altered source versions must be plainly marked as such and must not be misrepresented as being the original software. This notice may not be removed or altered from any source distribution. By making a pull request on our GitHub repository, you're stating that you're the author of these changes or have rights to the changes you've made and you're giving us the right to use it in any way. Commercial usage. Commercial usage is allowed only after you obtain an agreement from us. And email link here. So if you want to sell something, contact them. We reserve the right to change this license at any time with or without notice, with immediate and or retroactive effect. We believe that what we are asking is reasonable, so please don't try to bypass it. We're trying to be open and honest, and we hope people treat us the same way back. Don't be afraid to experiment with the source code. If you break something, you can always revert by downloading it again. Odd spot for something for them to say that in a legal notice, but okay, carry on. If there's anything legal you're wondering about that wasn't answered here, don't do it or ask us about it. If there's anything you don't understand or you consider confusing, please email us your suggestions and then at the email address again, and I'm assuming email your questions there too, even though they don't say it. They're saying email suggestions on, I guess, how to explain things better, but maybe also, you know, send questions. Seems like the main email address. That's it. No more rules. If the above wasn't clear, here's a summary. Use this source code only for developing mods for space engineers. And if you plan to do something else that might involve money, email them before you even get started. Conclusion! Oh, no more legal mumbo jumbo. I would like to end by saying again that there is no need to fear that we are abandoning space engineers' development. 
we are very concentrated on the game's development and on the player's suggestions. We assure you that we will continue at the same pace as we have done for the past two years and deliver a game that all our players will love playing. If you see someone who doesn't fully understand our arguments, please refer them to this blog post. Thank you. Anyway, they're just mentioning here again that they did that Reddit AMA. Again, link down in the description below if you want to go ahead and read through that. And of course, obviously I have links for pretty much everything I've mentioned or read out here down in the description below. One last thing though, special note, we noticed that many of you are eager to see planets. So this is a small preview from the development. Seamless transition, 100 kilometers plus in size, procedurally generated, deformable, destructible, almost infinite amount, gravity and atmosphere, still waiting for trees, grass, etc. And then, of course, they have these fantastic images that they have given us. They're not the highest resolution, but they are impressive to see the edge of the planet glowing, and I'm hoping we'll have day-night cycles and actually be able to see things move in and out of day. Who knows, maybe we'll even get to a point someday in the future where we'll be able to see city lights down below. And I do hope that some planets just don't have oxygen. In fact, I kind of hope most planets don't have oxygen and every now and again you find a beautiful lush green planet with some wildlife on it and all that good stuff. Anyway guys, that's it. There's one little thing right at the very bottom. Thank you for reading this. Please keep posting your feedback and suggestions under this blog post or on our form link here. We can't reply to every comment that you send, but I can assure you that we read as many as possible. Thanks, Merrick Rosa. So there you go. That's the full dev blog by Merrick Rosa at least today whole lot of information in there. I hope you caught most of that. Probably if you're not really too much into modding, seriously, not into modding, you might not have listened through all this, but hopefully those of you who did found this information useful, and I'm sure you'll go ahead and read through it again on your own, the double, triple, quadruple check to make sure you understood it all. Uh, yeah, again, my Eric's dev blog, I highly suggest you guys keep an eye on that and watch their Facebook too. They usually link to it if he posts something, so you don't have to necessarily poke his blog all the time. Anyway guys, that's it. Uh, I was Ectosage, I am Ectosage, reading through this stuff. Um, thanks for watching, slash listening, and I'll see you guys next time. Links in the description below. Ta-ta!